Hi, this is Dr. Kep, and I'm uh, wanting to share with you all some things I learned about Big Blue Button, in particular about viewing, downloading conferences, which is how we're recording our class. So I'm going to start by going to our home page on uh, Canvas and going to the conference. I don't know in the video if the mouse will be visible or not, but I'm going to the conferences link. I click on it. And what I see is the two conferences I wrote down here are concluded conference. If I click on one of them, the one class meeting, um, then I get over here at the left links to an external site or over here to right view. Uh, either one of those will let you start the recording and it will open a new tab. So I'm going to click the view option and it takes a little bit to initialize the recording. This was a short recording I did on Friday afternoon after class and um, frustratingly everything worked perfectly. So once the recording starts you may be able to make out a little gray bar down here getting larger and larger just to the right of the record button. Big Blue Button will allow me to be able to see what was happening uh, on the whiteboards in class. So this particular recording um, has a lot of white noise and so I'm going to go over here and mute it. There, that recording had a lot of white noise. Over here to the right um, of the main screen, you can see what you would want to see, the board that I had in class. So in order to get to that with the recording going, I'm going to click the toggle full screen, this little exploding arrows thing over here to the lower right of the play bar and that takes the whole thing up to full screen and then you can see everything as it appeared while you were in class either online or physically in class. If I want to record this video all I have to do is right click in the middle of this playing video notice that I can adjust the play speed while it is playing to one and a half or even what it calls ludicrous speed two times. Um, so the option I want though is down here, save video as. It's about midway through and even if you can't see the mouse it'll be highlighted because my mouse is on it. If I click on that then it takes me, well I can navigate in this Windows um, download prompt to any folder where I want to put the video. And so by default it's called webcams but I could put something like um, day one class, oh I could spell the word day correctly, that would help, and I hit save. And it starts the process of saving. I'm doing all of this in Firefox. If I want to go back out of full screen, which I do now, I hit my save key on my keyboard. And I'm going to watch the video. And what you'll see in Firefox is the download is happening up here. Um, the downward pointing uh, empty arrow and then when the download is finished it turns green. Right now it says two minutes, three minutes and in fact I notice if I click on that that the video is in fact downloading. It freezes up and I found the best way to move forward with that is actually to right click and pause the whole thing and that must let packets catch up or something. I have no idea how this stuff works. But after a little bit, I right click and choose resume. And it will look like it's starting over, but then it picks up where it left off. And I have, with these larger full class period files, had to do this two or three or five or ten times. But rather than starting over, when it freezes up, I would just right click, choose pause, and then wait a couple of beats and then right click and choose resume until it finishes the full download. A really fast internet connection at home. I don't know why it freezes up. Um, it says it's got a while left to go. The other way you could do this, I'm going to cancel that download, um, but the other way you could do this using the um, add-on in Firefox that I suggest, Video Download Helper, is that when you start playing though, and you really have to start playing it, and again, there is sound, it's just not a very pleasant sound, um, if you have the Video Download Helper uh, add-on, then as soon as you click play, 
these three balloons up here in the upper right of the bar at the top of Firefox turn colorful and then I can click on that and it says big blue button playback or whatever uh, the name of the current file that's playing is. If I just click on that option then it brings up the option of saving the file and again by default I've got it set to my downloads folder. I could type um, math 6315 day one and start that download um, and you notice if you were watching that it went from an empty arrow to a remaining time and just like before it tells you how much time it thinks is remaining and how what the progress is and how many megabytes it has to download. I anticipate the typical full class period will be in the neighborhood of about 200 megabytes. Um, when you get one of these files downloaded, uh, and here's an example file, you just click on this folder or go to wherever you downloaded it. I like to play these um, video files using my um, VLC media player, but you can use your favorite media player. I should just set them that as the default player. I right click in this case choose my player on the file name and this is the same file. I'm going to mute it in VLC. But this is our day one of class. Downloaded as an MP4 file and of course when I do the MP4 download I also get the screen that was the main focus in class. I'm just clicking through the file and you can see all the various screens that come up. Ideally you should also be able to hear the narration as you are here. So again just to recap the high points if I'm in Firefox and I have started the big blue button playback by going to the web conference uh, that represents this day and clicking on the little link, I start playing the conference and if I enlarge it, then I can right click and choose save video as and follow my notes through that and otherwise I can, if I have the video download helper add-on, click on that and then choose the currently playing video. Either method will be MP4 archive of the class. That's about it for now. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll put an upload on it.